They got, uh, I got six o'clock. I got six. All right. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, start the show. Uh, this is the Spaniard from Black Sheep Bravo keeping it tight. And with me, alongside, in, in the uh, human flesh, I'm, is Ogre. I'm looking in the laptop down here like an idiot. I yeah, I look know. at my camera. That's... that's that's I guess yeah, I messed do this. this up. This is this is old. Well, that's you from before. That's from before. Oh, okay. Well, where the are we now? The technology is. Just, I don't know. Uh, I, I can. Yeah, I got a typewriter. I can figure this stuff out. So yeah, just for those of you guys that uh, that can see, we do have a laptop in front of us. So uh, we have our uh, what do you call it? The um, camera. Camera. But the camera's over there. See, the camera's not there. The camera's right there. So we're gonna be looking over there. But I have to look down to kind of monitor it. So. It's not that I'm trying to be rude or anything. It's just uh, is there enough room for both of us in frame here? I'm... I think so. Yeah, I think you're good. I like the stripes. <laughs> I don't like that. Should have now on second thought. I should have gone with like black. black. <laughs> I could take. I could give you this shirt. No, that's quite all right. right. I got an undershirt on. I could. Ooh, I could relive the. The I could read. I could. I, know, I could redo the, uh, uh, the. The the Chuck arm rubbing thing from. A couple weeks ago, but right, right, yeah. yeah, that was good. That 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 lotion. You yeah, is she like okay? I haven't, oh yeah, I no, seen she's, her in a while. Uh, she's in Florida. She's on she's on vacation. Oh, that's so, right. Yeah. She was packing in her fake outfit. That, right. Yeah, yes, so, yes her, her right. fake packing picture. That's right. So yeah, she's she's uh, living it up down south. And uh, let me see who else. Wensy should be here in a little bit. Uh, he was stuck in traffic, so we'll have three of our co-hosts out yeah. of seven tonight. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, but we have, a, we have some guests here already. We're going to get to them in a little bit. So for those of you guys that are just joining us in, uh, we are broadcasting live uh, here at the St. John Community Center. But, in oh. Yeah, St. John. See, they named oh, it after that. I know. Isn't that nice? Pretty ironic. Um, but, uh, yeah, swing on by. Uh, we're going to be here at the south or the east doors, the double doors here. So if you drive by, you'll see some cars there. Come on in. Don't be afraid. We have some organizations here uh, uh, with their service dogs. We're going to be talking to them here in a little bit. Uh, but come on by 1515 Lincoln Highway, which is Route 30 in Cherville, Indiana, uh, just across the border here of uh, in, uh, from Illinois. And, plenty of uh, parking. Plenty of parking. And there's no admission. It's free. And it's uh, ladies' night tonight. We don't. We don't and there's a dog here. A couple dogs. There's two dogs. A couple dogs here. Wow. We have, uh, we do have a uh, a special celebrity here that has come to us. He is a world-renowned hunter, uh, bow hunter, fisherman. Uh, you name it, he does it. If it relates to outdoors, uh, please welcome our first guest, Hank Solo. Come on over, Hank Solo. He is a uh, he is an avid hunter. We're going to be no, coming around. Don't have me come up around. Oh, no, no, here you can I'll step yeah, over. No, just come I'll come over this way. way. Oh, I'll come this way. Okay. Yeah, you're right there. We're good. Oh, here, you, okay. you go over here. You're the ace interviewer. Ace interviewer. It says on uh, your, so take a look here. Uh, take a look at the camera there so you can see, uh, so you can see, see who you are and tell us a little bit who you are and when, what you do uh, for fun. What, what brought you here tonight? Uh, I've been following the show for quite a while. Don't be nervous. It's okay. I've been listening to the topics and everybody that, you know, the host and all the co-hosts and some of the topics I uh, enjoyed. Some of them I had stuff to s I would like to talk about, but I wasn't involved. But you know, so I got well, the invite and I thought I'd come and show yeah. up and uh, see what's going on. Fantastic! All right. What uh, what kind of adventures do you got planned uh, for this month? Do you have anything special uh, going on that, that that the people might want to be interested in? Oh, I just got back from northern Wisconsin um, fishing. Uh, archery, hiking, running, just uh, you know, just a bunch of things that that a, that busy week that settled me down. <laughs> I'm, what did you yeah. do that in a day or what? I can't sit down. It was a week of just nonstop. Wait movement. a minute. How did you say running settles you down? Uh, I have to do something. Oh, or else oh I go God. crazy. I feel sorry for you. Yeah. I'm sorry. So to does you. my wife. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's always like, "Hey, would you just sit down?" And I, I just can't do it. Wow. If you smell me, yeah. and I smell. <laughs> Can you smell I that? smell fire. That's quite all right. You smell fire. So yeah. right now, I've got a whole bunch of vegetables smoking. Yeah. So when I get home, I can make homemade salsa. I didn't think vegetables smoked. they got to be a certain age. Hard, but to keep, yeah. hard to keep them lit. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Well, I, you know, um, didn't want to, don't want to keep you too long. Don't want those uh, vegetables to burn. But uh, um, any um, any advice? Uh, we have a lot of veterans out here that watch across across the world. Um, as far as hunting, uh, now you're more of a, an avid bow hunter. Is there any tips you would want to give our young veterans who are going to be returning home and want to get into the hunting scene, uh, especially bow hunting? What do you recommend uh, they start, they look into first? The first step. Yeah. The first step is always the hardest, no matter if it's bow hunting, gun hunting. Um, I get into 
so many things that uh, um, settle me down. I'm not a vet, mm -hmm. but I do have a, um, a, a problem. Mm -hmm. I can't sit still. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I, a, we know that I'm feeling. A, yeah, I'm a friggin' nut job, right. and if I don't do something, <laughs> I have issues. So, if there's um, anything that anybody wants to do, yeah. no matter who it is, the first step is the hardest. Mm -hmm. Getting up and just going out and doing it, taking the first step to go and do it is the hardest step, but once you're doing it, it's very easy and it's very calming and it's it's gratifying and mm -hmm. I mean just I mean just everything. Um, kind of sounds like my bowel movements in the morning. Yeah, yeah well, if you know, if work is your thing, work is also my thing. Yeah. I mean, just getting up in the morning, just I mean, that first step moving towards it motivates you. And and, and I am always happy to wake up in the morning. Yeah, yeah, it's there great, it is. isn't it? Right on. It's very great. cool. Anytime very cool. you're not. Uh, Beats underneath the dirt yeah that's it it beats right? the alternative doesn't it now some a lot of you guys may not know this but some of the videos that i posted about the free diving and the spear fishing that we've been doing uh this is my my, my go-to guy he is and my sensei i was gonna ask you yeah. if was, you were uh, scuba diving out there in yeah Europe. not not well the sunday i was but going through, uh this going is through the, the old vans that are there at the bottom of we did yeah, yeah that was yeah. it yeah but this is the guy that 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 op that started it all for me so uh those videos that you're seeing He's the guy that's all blue. You, you can barely see him because he's invisible. His, his camouflage <laughs> is just that great. You can't see him. I so like to be unseen. That's right, unseen. So, yeah, we're going to be doing some more adventures here. So, uh, But, yeah, uh, uh, Hank Solo is going to be joining me uh, along with anybody else that wants to come out and try spearfishing or, or any type of uh, outdoor activity uh, that we, get, we have planned out later on this summer. So, um, but, uh, but yeah, I, like I said, I don't want to keep you too long. I know your vegetables are, are, are simmering just nicely on that fire. So Low and slow. Low and slow. Low That's and the slow. way of the go. So, Hank Solo, thank you so much. Uh, if you want to stick around, we can probably get you back on here a little bit. But, uh, Good meeting you in person. Uh, yeah, thank right. you so much for stopping by. Hank I'll Solo, here, everybody. Hey. Thanks. Hey. Holy yeah. shit. Look what we got yeah, here. Look at this. Yeah, we, we, got, go metal. The, we got Amp. You're the executive. Oh, I see. The 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 see. Now, uh, we got a lot of comments out there that people did not realize – who Wentz he is like who the hell is this Wentz he guy well here he is in the flesh are we, we are, are I think we we're still alive still you take a look at that I'm not getting a signal. we do have uh, we do have Weefy here it's the the, Weefy? the the code is when you walk in the door it's right there Maybe but uh, yeah we do have free Wi-Fi here so if you want to come on down use free Wi-Fi wi use the free Wi-Fi <laughs> you, you can't beat that but uh, if you in, can't download Anarchist Cookbook on your house come here you can download it here. <laughs> yeah. use Wentz's phone <laughs> uh, he'd be happy to let you do it. So uh, FBI's already checking it. We're good. We're good to go. So, all right, we have a, a group here that came by. You may have remembered uh, a while back ago. We talked about it and we promoted them on, on one of the Friday night roundtable shows. Uh, they are called uh, Pets for, uh, Pets and Vets, and we can get. Let me see. Bobby is uh, who? Who wanted to come up here first to kind of give us? Yeah, here, here here she comes. Yes. All right. I'm going to switch with you here for a sec. Come on over. I'll just stand go just on out, on of, right there. out of the okay. shot where you can Speaking see. Microphone. You, okay, they I can, can hear that. Me. Trust me, they can hear me. Uh, <laughs> but first, tell us, uh, tell us your name and who you're with. Okay, I am Debbie Repsinski, and I'm with Dunes Dog Training Club's program, Pets and Vets. And we are based out of Hebron. And Wensi, you know us well. Yep. Where's Gracie? Claire. Claire. She's at home. Claire. Darn it. <laughs> okay. She, she cannot um, come out to after activities, so we had to leave her at home. She's too young. Okay. But, you know, training starts when you're young. Well, she can't drink beer. <laughs> she, she could. <laughs> Have you tried it? She will like it. Ours Read does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Dogs like beer. They do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody's agreeing there. Yes. So um, Pets and Vets was established in 2012 and it's part of Dunes Dog Training Club. This is our way, because we train dogs, Yes. okay? And so it's our way of giving back to the community, to the veterans, um, to help veterans. And dogs are supposed to be an awesome, um, an awesome aid with you because they lower your blood pressure, mm -hmm. they soothe and calm you. I have one that makes us crazy, kind of like yeah. a puppy. <laughs> say, yeah. yeah. My dog. So it kind of distracts you too. But um, we help by just doing basic training 
with our veterans who join the program, mm -hmm. and it's all at no cost to the veterans. Oh, that's that's that was going to be one of my questions. That's mm -hmm. excellent. Okay. Yes, because prior to that, we bought and we still do. We do just regular dog training mm -hmm. for all ages of dogs, and we yeah. will um, have those classes every Wednesday. And people come and sign up. Our next classes begin July 11th, okay. and it starts from ages six months on up. Mm -hmm. um, and from that point, we kind of take everybody through the basics. So when you first come in, mm -hmm. you kind of just learn how to socialize with your dog because there's usually like three or four other dogs in the room there at least, right. if not more. And the whole idea is you get together with the dogs and you kind of get your dog used to being around other dogs. Okay. And right. if they're an only fur child, mm -hmm. they may not have that socialization. So that would be the first place Excellent. that we would start. Gotcha. Then we start with the sits and downs. Okay. So just how to sit a dog at your side, um, have them lay down, because ideally a service dog and the training that our veterans go through with their dogs, we don't train the dogs, we train the veterans. Okay. Um, the training that we go through with them um, last, and it depends on how often they work with their pups. Um, it could work out that, you know, your dog will take to everything in six months, but usually it's a lot longer because we want that dog to basically turn into an invisible dog. Okay. It's almost a medical aid that's next to you yeah. that is invisible. There you go. Okay. So when they're not invisible, that's when we, you know, run into a little trouble right. here and there. Okay. But that's where dog training comes in, regardless of who's getting trained Excellent. and what kind of dog. Gotcha. Now, yeah. is, there, is there a limit to how many people sign up for the class, for this next class that's coming up? For our public classes, there, um, we're trying to limit to eight for our puppies and our basics and our advanced classes. Okay. So we have three different classes going on on Wednesday nights. Um, you can actually find us on the web at dunesdogtrainingclub.com. And on there, you can click on classes to find out about classes. But we also have a tab there that talks about pets and vets That's and it. how at any point um, our veterans can join in and come on in. They can come look at the class and see if this is something they want to do. Mm -hmm. We've had many contact us and say, I'd like to find a dog. So what, I, what, do, I, what do I do? Where do I find these dogs? Because mm -hmm. you just don't go out saying, I'm looking for a service dog. Yeah. But our instructors have over 100 years of training experience, Bobby being one of those trainers that are here. She don't look a day over. <laughs> I was going to say, she doesn't <laughs> look that old. Does she? I was going to say, that's kind of mean, but yeah. no, beautiful. No, we have a number of different trainers, gotcha. but tons of training experience. Oh, so they can tell you what type of dog might work best. Okay. okay. And, and you really? Hate cats, right? I'm not a cat fan. Okay, good. Yeah, you they just, don't do well on a leash. You just gain, well, they do if you pull them hard enough. You can stop. Oh, yeah. stop, 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 <laughs> stop. We do have cat lovers out there. Stop. Oh. Cat yes. lovers? Cat yes. lovers, chime in. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's another question I had. Sure. Is it, is, um, is the Dunes Land, it's a Dunes Land? It's Dunes Dog Training Dunes Club. Dunes Dog Training. Dunes mm -hmm. Is it open? Is it open for the general public? Uh, suppose a... Uh, um, a resident in the surrounding area may have been diagnosed with PTSD, but they didn't serve in the military. Would they be able to work with your organization to get a service dog, or is it strictly just for veterans? It is strictly just for veterans, okay. and it's veterans that have been diagnosed with a doctor's diagnosis okay. of PTSD or traumatic brain injury, Excellent. Okay. either or. And we ask for a little bit of paperwork from the doctor. Mm -hmm. We ask for a military service record. Um, that's, you know, and you guys, tell me the form number. DD 214. Thank yep. you, Jason, DD 214. I could have asked, I could have asked any of you guys. <laughs> I'm off the clock right now. So. <laughs> it's been a few years. Yeah. So we just put all that together and then we just start working with you and your dog. Fantastic. And again, we will have the uh, information, the website, contact information on the enhanced version of this video, uh, it will get down later on, or it'll get downloaded later on tonight. I use my hands a lot, and this just, yeah, you know, these guys making fun of me. That's okay, I can take it. Uh, but yeah, we'll have that up uh, later on on the other uh, the other edition. So any anything else that people should know uh, about your program? Yeah, I'm gonna just you know just clarify that our program is divided into two parts. We always do dog training with the general public on Wednesdays, okay. and on Wednesdays, if veterans are interested to, in training a dog. No cats, sorry. Um, but if they're interested in training a dog, come on in. You can get half price training from our normal costs. Oh, That's right. on Wednesdays. Oh, right. On Thursdays, it's strictly the veterans with 
the diagnosis of PTSD who are eligible for our program. Okay. And NTBI. NTBI. Is there a dress? Is there a dress code? A dress code? The, um, no. Please wear some. Okay, wear clothes. All right, so you got to wear clothes. Yeah, the, I know it's the summer. Do the dogs have to wear clothes? Do the dogs got to wear anything special? Dogs never have to wear anything special, but we have a couple of training aids. Yeah, what's your take on that? Come on, leashes, collars, no, 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 that not kind of thing. And collars. I mean, people that put like raincoats and like boots <laughs> on their dogs because it's cold out. <laughs> the tutus or the, yes. the costumes. Uh, well, you know, if the, the, if, the protective, <laughs> the protective gear. Yeah. Uh huh. We're just going to check out Facebook pictures of. Uh, of course. I, I do dogs. have one of Clara in a tutu. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I try to dress up our Lexi, and she has nothing. She doesn't tolerate it. Not Excellent. at all. Mm -mm. Excellent. Well, I'll no. tell you what. Um, uh, again, what's the uh, what's the the name of the organization, uh, organization and the website that people can go to if they want to get more information? Yes. Thank you for having mm -hmm. us here. We are with Dunes Dog Training Club, Pets and Vets. The Pets and Vets organization is the part that is free to any veteran who would like to start training their dog. Um, those veterans would need to um, be diagnosed with PTSD or TBI. And otherwise, veterans can receive half price training at Dunes Dog Training Club. And our new classes begin July 11th. Our veterans programs are every Thursday at 6.30. Okay. See you then. Yep. Mm -hmm. There you go. And they go year round. And yeah. anyone can join at any time. Right. Oh, For the excellent. veterans, there is no starter stop. You come on down. Excellent. Debbie, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. It was an honor. We're going to talk to guys. her. I will see you tomorrow. Yes. We're going <laughs> to cool be beans. having some uh, some of the other uh, members who are in the program. We're going to bring them up here a little bit, a uh, little bit here, uh, in a little bit. Uh, I can't even talk. I am so thirsty. It's hot and I'm sweaty. Uh, I think they shut the air off. It is a little warm. Yeah, yeah. they oh, shut the air off so we go quick. I'm going to go take a look. In the meantime, um, Thanks again. We're gonna, I'm going to take Thank a you. short break. Uh, in the meantime, Ogre and Wancy take over. I'm going to go check the air here real quick. Take so, over. Yeah, take over. Take uh, over give us what? one second. Uh, tell us about your trip here. Hold on. Oh, I'll be right back. It was, it was fantastic. That one doesn't work. You want to talk in this I one? I think that's for upstairs, oh, or okay. the, the ones above. My trip here wasn't too bad, except uh, you're out here. You're coming from the other direction, I'm aren't you? I'm coming from near Valpo. Oh, okay. See, I'm over in... Downers Grove, so I'm coming down. I had, I did stop off. I was uh, a little sidetracked. I had all the uh, all the fireworks uh, places I had to stop oh. at. I had, to, I had the fireworks billboards and the uh, strip, club strip clubs. Yeah, yeah. You know, that was it. I, once you hit strip I didn't hardly club make it. It was just like just like coming home. I tell you, it was go, you go down. I get on that 294 South, and it's like going downhill. I'm like everything comes back. But they change this all around. I used to live out here in uh, oh shit, 2000 or something like that. 01. And uh, building up out here. Oh yeah. It, and you said you were coming because of the traffic. I can imagine it's. I thought it was bad and back in '01. It's, it's no, nuts it's, now. It's horrible. US 30 is horrible. US 41 is horrible. This 65 is horrible. This is. I do love. I, I love the wood paneling they yes. have here. That is very 1970s. Yes. That even. That might. That might go back farther than that. <laughs> but they do have. They do have one of my favorite things is plugs. In the wall. Up on the wall, mm -hmm. not down. You don't have to. So for if you're a if you're a full-figured gentleman like myself, you don't have to spend too much or time bending floods. over. Or if it floods, that's a good point too. Hey, we are we're probably in a flood zone. I just did it because of being lazy. I, didn't, <laughs> I hate bending over all the time. You got a plug right there in the wall. Boom. You're okay. Are we gonna get the dogs in here? Are we gonna yes, interview the gonna, dogs? We're gonna do. We're gonna Let bring up the camera. No, we're good. Oh, the okay. camera's set. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Why don't you, uh, how would you like to do the interview? Right now? I don't want to. You don't want to do that. No, you're, <laughs> you're <laughs> in control. Right, I'm going to oh, switch here in the middle here. here I'm going to switch. Smoking. You're switch a much better interviewer than I. Oh, really? I'm good at just. I learned it from the back of a magazine. Talking a bunch of crap about nothing. And yeah. you're, you ask like poignant questions. That poignant. People know. He said poignant. poignant. Damn, I bet you can't even spell yeah. that. I think there's a G in there. G? Uh, like what up, poignant? G? All right. Well, at this time, I'm going to go ahead and bring one of the veterans who are in the program. Uh, so who would like to uh, come on over first? With a dog. Yeah, there we go. All right. So when we switch, I'm going to switch. Let's switch this. Switch the side. Come in this. We're going to switch this way. We're going to come right over here. Come on in into the picture. Look at that. All right. Uh, welcome to Black Sheep Bravo. Uh, first, tell us your name and uh, if you were in the service. Jason Cotton. I was United States Marine Corps from 93 through 98. 
You always, you always start off with the best. You got to bring the Marines on first to set the stage. Anyone got any crayons? Uh, come on, crayon, for crying right. out loud. This is how you do it. You got, you got to start with the Marines first. You so. know, the Marines have always helped out the... <laughs> and that's that's what I hear from their mess you know for crying out loud uh so Jason tell us a little bit about how, how did you hear about the program uh saw him on the websites I'd had a service dog before uh, or, uh I paid an organization the organization was about twelve thousand dollars grand oh total uh to have her trained uh where with Hunter I got him as a donation had some vets uh, nothing out of my pocket. Oh, that's wonderful. And how long have you been working uh, with your dog so far? Uh, Hunter is coming up on two years old, and I got him at 10 weeks. So oh, okay. Almost so it's, two years. So you've been working a lot with, with Hunter then? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he just passed his public access test, so he's fully certified. Okay. Now, for, for those who are not quite sure what that means, what is what exactly is that test? Uh. A lot of obedience, it's public access is being well behaved in a car, loading, unloading from a car, uh, walking in a parking lot, crowded parking lot, strangers walking up to them, uh, leaving them unattended, uh, being calm, uh, sits, downs, and the entire test mm -hmm. takes place in a store. Oh, wow. Whether okay. it's a mall, we did ours uh, at Bass Pro Shop in uh, Portage. Okay. I'm going to try to see if I can get a shot of Hunter. Uh, I'm going to switch spots with here. Let me know. He'll uh, probably know. <laughs> yeah, he'll know how to walk, right? Yeah. Hunter on there. So while they're doing Good. that, Jason, maybe you could tell us what are the different tests that the service dogs need to go through? Uh, the first test that, uh, if it's a puppy, it's uh, the CGC AKC. Uh, test it's puppy starch just general obedience then they go to uh canine good citizen that's governed by the uh akc then it's advanced course for the cgc and then what's called urban and each level they're adding things making it more difficult uh puppy it's like just a sit down stay and you're standing right there a public access level or urban you're leaving your dog you're what walking away from your dog uh, fully and it has to stay where you put it and then it has to recall uh, for you with people walking by, people in the room, uh, not eating food off the floor, uh, being friendly with people just walking up to him. That's his problem. He's super friendly. Yeah, he's, uh, he's yeah. spot on. Spot on. Well, thanks again. Any yeah. any tips for, for any veterans out there who would like to get involved with, with getting a service dog? Any tips that you can provide for them? Don't be afraid. Okay. Uh, it's it's growth. Uh, and there's nothing like having a dog coming home to or being there with you. Uh, he goes with, with me to work every single day. Moral support, grounding. Whenever you think that, the, oh, this day is the worst day in my life, all of a sudden you get that head nudge, the head on your lap, or a bone or a toy going, hey, time yeah. to play with me. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Thank you, Jason. Thank you excellent. so much for coming. Right. And hopefully we'll probably do a follow-up down the road to see how everybody's doing and, and right. check up with you as well. All right, all right thanks. Thanks. All right, swoosh that way that's, a little bit. Uh, back. I was off screen. <laughs> Where are you going? Go ahead. He just keeps running around. Oh, the, the, go ahead, like we got cue cards or something. The professional. professional what? Yeah, uh, Devil Dog has a service dog. I he guess does, she yeah. was under the weather or getting some kind of like kidney operation or something. or something. I don't know, some kind of surgery. It's, uh, now we got dogs over here playing in front of us, <laughs> and I got to stand here and talk about something. I'm very unprepared once again for this oh, I, yeah, program. Yeah. I got, oh, I, we could get the microphone over there. Well, we could, but, you know, Tony's got this weird <laughs> got setup. It. He I does have a good, you know, I like his microphone. This is like, uh, can, can you get it? Is that's, it showing it? That's, yeah, it's, whoops, perfect. <laughs> Don't mind us. <laughs> Everything's fine over here. We're okay. to the Army and the Navy to screw things up. We were trying to get a close-up on your uh, professional setup here. There, you got a good oh. shot of my gut. Yeah, watch it there. A little bit, a little bit. Bring it up. Eyes are up here. Okay. All right, perfect. Eyes.
Fantastic. Much better. We were talking when you when you rudely walked away like I did the last time. Uh, we were wondering about the uh, Devil Dog's dog. Oh, yeah. No, he uh, he told me. Let me make sure I got my sound good here. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, he told me that uh, the surgery went well and surgery. that uh, she's doing good. Uh, Shala, I believe, is his service yeah. name. Uh, That's it. I was trying to capture, I was going to try to put a hidden camera at his house because he sings to her. He was singing <laughs> singing a lot of uh, Hold Me Closer, Tony Danza. Oh, uh, oh. He was singing a lot of different songs. When I think about you, I touch myself kind of deal? Yeah. Okay, so, good, good. So, Devil Dog, if you're watching, uh, we're going to we're gonna get that footage. We're, yes. We're going to get you on the air uh, or record you singing uh, like you do. All right. Well, we have. He does have a fun swinging voice. He though. does, <laughs> and you'd be surprised. You know, mm -hmm. NYPD, they have they have a lot to offer there. You think he sings to the guys that he's taken into jail? Oh, for sure. Oh, guaranteed. I, 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 sure I, I used to. Yeah, I sure as hell would. Oh yeah. yeah uh -huh. uh, Who's this? Somebody with more dogs? We got here. Uh oh, no, more people. We got. Oh, we got some tough guys coming. Oh yeah. Here comes the riffraff. <laughs> All right. So we have another uh, another participant uh, that's in the Pets and Vets program. Uh, he has a husky, and he's going to bring uh, him over and talk about uh, his experience with pets and vets working his way his over husky here. So, loves my husky, husky too. Switch this way a little. <laughs> switch this way a little. There you go. Shift. Hi right. there. Hi there. Welcome to Black Sheep Bravo. Thank you. Uh, tell us, uh, first tell us your name. Greg. Greg, and were you in the military? Yes, I was. What branch were you in? Navy. Navy. Oh, look at that. We Submarine got, Force. Oh, oh, oh we wow. got some major <laughs> representation here. Right on. Well, thank Acres Away. Right? Is, that, is that the model? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, whatever the, they call it, yeah. But, well, welcome. Thank you for, uh, for coming. Tell us a little bit about uh, who you brought with you. I brought Bolton with me. He's a husky. If I can get a picture of that. Uh, and how long have you had him? I've had him just about three years. Okay. As and a I've been, or? I got him when he was about a year old. And how long have you been uh, in the training, in the program? A little over two years. Okay. Oh, wow. He's Oh, I like them eyes. Look at those eyes. <laughs> Turn you to stone. Now, tell me a little bit. You were mentioning earlier about working with Huskies. It's a little bit different than... Yeah, kids. Huskies are notorious for being headstrong. Okay. They're mainly used for pulling sleds and that kind of stuff. They have to work. So working him with pets and vets, that's fantastic. But it's a challenge because he is headstrong and doesn't want to do things at times. Okay. What are some of the things that he does that get you in trouble with? What are some of the, the difficulties you have? One of the main difficulties he does is he's very vocal. He will just start talking to everybody and anybody. And trying to keep him quiet is almost impossible. Okay. <laughs> now, since the time you've had him, um, what are some of the obstacles that people should know about when first training with a, a service dog, even at the beginning stages? What are some of the obstacles that you have come across or you've, you've noticed other people? The main across? obstacle that I've noticed is people will start to train their dog and get frustrated mm, because exactly. the dog's not listening. It's a process that this takes time. I mean, it really does. Yeah. Now, do you take your dog everywhere with you or mostly everywhere? How Most you? everywhere yeah. with me. Okay. Right. There's some places where I just refuse to take him in. Okay. You know, like grocery stores, I don't need him getting into the meat. Yeah. <laughs> you know, many, have you seen Ogre at the grocery store? No, yeah. not yet. Yeah. yeah, you got to put a leash on him as well. That's uh, the next live segment. That is. Ogre goes to the grocery store. That, that's it. That's it. Well, um, uh, um, as far as the program and as far as reaching out to other veterans, um, like, like Jason said earlier, what are some of your pointers uh, to tell veterans who are interested in getting a service dog? What tips can you give them uh, if, if they want to get involved with getting a service dog? If they want to get involved in, with getting a service dog, go to your local shelter, okay? okay? Don't go to a breeder. Breeders, you don't know what you're getting. Mm -hmm. Go to a shelter. Let the dog pick you. That's what I've heard. Yes, I've heard that before. Okay. That's how I got him. He picked us. Excellent. Excellent. So. All right. Any final any final thoughts or anybody you want to say hi to out there in the world? No, I'm, I'm good. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. And like I said, uh, we'll probably be do, doing some follow-ups with you down okay. the road, if you don't mind, to see how things yeah. are going. That's well, fine. Thank you so much thank for coming you. by. Have a great evening. You too. Look at that. All right. Look at that. Yeah, let me see.
All I'm kinds moving, of moving it again. Now oh, you're moving it again. Yeah, oh, yeah, you yeah, got yeah. a picture of the dog walking away. Look at that. It's beautiful. Got all our a full house here, so we had. To... It is a full house. Yeah. I feel yeah. naked without my headphones though. Last time that, we just right? had two people. It was me and Tony. Yeah. And it was it was nice. We uh, ran naked through the bar area. In an empty room there. Well, we ran <laughs> naked right. through the bar area. All right. right. Just a quick announcement. If you are nearby, we have some stickers here. We will be uh, honoring. Our, vet, our Vietnam veterans, the 50 year uh, anniversary of the Vietnam War. So we have some stickers here to give away. So the first 100 people that come by will get them free of charge. Uh, so come on by, free stuff. I think we'll have a few left over. I think we have a few left over, but yeah. that's okay. That's okay. I was behind a Vietnam veteran on 294 this evening. You did? Yes. Yeah, how was that? It was not a pleasant experience. Uh, I can imagine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so. Um, Those cats are what? Those guys are starting to push like 80, aren't they? 75? Uh, 20, let's see, 20 if you're like 65, 75, 75 85, yeah. 95, 5, yeah, 70, yeah, yeah. shit. They got to be starting to get up there. Oh, 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 no, that's the same guy. I thought that was another dog coming up here. I'm going to play. Let's see if we can break his laptop now. We did, oh. we did a number on his camera. There we go. He's off uh, avoiding there, the guy that actually knows how to run this stuff and has the outline of everything that's supposed to happen. We just hey, Ogre, you know stand up here and play. Up. I think I don't know. Is that what he's got on the bottom one there? That's what do you got? Who was that? Messing with the control. Hey, there was a chick down there. Oh, was... Got pictures. See if he's got pictures of his wife on there. Oh no 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 no. Hey, you got pictures of your wife on your laptop? Yes. Oh. <laughs> you want some more? <laughs> that's always a hot one. Uh, yep. Uh, uh. He loves it. Okay, so how's the fire department? Well, I'm on leave right now because oh, I'm oh, waiting sorry. for the VA to fix me. Oh, so, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that's how long is that going to take? Well, uh, I'm going on my 10th uh, year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's a hell of a leave. I need something. Like, I need a deal like that. So what were you guys looking for? Nothing. Oh, nothing. We were just wondering what uh, gay porn hub was. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was right. up on your Chrome. I don't know. Was it now? I, I use I... incognito mode. Oh. So, well, come on. I'm going to move this over here. Now, oh, where are we going? <laughs> no, you guys are fine. You're, go you're fine. Okay. All right, we have a, a another special guest oh. uh, coming on. Um, but before we bring him on board, I want to talk about a an event that we will be um, – no, it's in black and white. So I apologize. I'm too damn cheap to get color uh, copies, but uh, – Racist. That is <laughs> – that is the – the, uh, What's fourth... next? You're going to put them in a fence? Yeah. I mean, we're going to build a wall around it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. FDR? Um, you're but... going to put them in a camp in Utah? Sure. But that's uh, July 21st. It's a Saturday, uh, the fourth annual Warrior Roundup. We will be there broadcasting live as well as giving out some free stuff. Uh, so make sure you come check out our table. We'll have plenty of stickers left we'll over. Stickers. <laughs> uh, we might have some different stickers by then, uh, but we'll see. All right. We have a special treat for you guys tonight. We have a representative here uh, who works in the area, and he really does is he helps out combat vets or pretty much any vet in need. Um, he, uh, he's an outreach coordinator uh, for a local vet center, and he, I'm going to bring him on here to talk a little bit about what he does and how he sees uh, what he sees in the world as far as veteran care and what have you. So, uh, Kevin, come on up. This is Kevin. Kevin, how are you doing? Good. Nice to meet you. Same here. All right. Yeah. Come on Slide in. Slide over. Slide over. Slide so, over. How come uh, you're not in this? Because like, I got a face, like a, I got a face like for a radio. Tokyo subway. Over That's here. all right. Plus, you don't want to hear, you don't want to smell my cool water. I got that for Father's oh, Day. Oh, Drakkar. I got Drakkar, too. See? Mm. So, all right. Joining us right now is, is Sex Panther? It, it kind of. Oh, okay. it's, it's a little bit like it, but uh, a little bit less less involved. Oh, so 59% right? of the time works every time? You spray on the crotch. If you spray on the crotch, it comes up. Oh, so oh. the smell stays with you longer. Gotcha. That's another, that's going to be a how-to video down the road, oh, but okay. we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, but anyway, Kevin, welcome aboard. Thank uh, you. Tell us a little bit about uh, about what you do. And, uh, and well, first of all, were you in the military? What uh, Were you in the service at all? Yes. I served in the Army for three years on active duty and one year in the reserves. Uh, deployed with the 101st to Iraq in 2003 for a year. And uh, I've been with the Vet Center now for four years. Wow. Amazing. So, Thank you for your service. And welcome, welcome home, brother. Thank you. Um, what is it exactly that you do? So I do outreach for uh, our vet center covers parts of uh, 10 counties in northwest Indiana. Um, 
across the country, there's over 300 vet centers, brick and mortar facilities, and then um, a little over about 80 mobile vet centers that also go out to areas. So um, for those that don't know, vet centers are part of the Veterans Health Administration, but we have a separate role and in, in part of our lane is actually covering down in rural areas, underserved areas, places that um, veterans don't necessarily have a hospital or uh, outpatient clinic in the area. Um, all of our services are free. They've already been paid by uh, the veterans and family members that come into our facilities and our uh, counseling services are confidential. So a veteran absolutely uh, has to lead if they want any of their records to leave um, our facility. So that will not happen without their permission, which is really a, a big seller for uh, you know people who are in first responder roles, police and fire, uh, maybe still serving in the guard or reserves. Um, we don't want that to be a hindrance to them reaching out and getting help if they feel like they just need somebody to talk to or um, get involved with the group. So uh, that's a big bonus. And then, um, you know, unlike other programs through uh, local organizations, federal organizations, the character of discharge does not matter for vet oh, centers okay. either. So question. you could have uh, a dishonorable discharge and other than honorable discharge, that does not prevent you from seeking help at a vet center. So. Um, Really, you know, any veteran can come in and, and if they have questions, if they need help getting referrals, um, we want to be a resource for them. Um, our full services are provided for uh, combat veterans, veterans who are exposed to military sexual trauma while in the service, and family members for bereavement uh, counseling who lost a service member. Um, it could be training, could be combat, could be anything. Um, so we, we are a trauma-focused uh, facility within the uh, world of the VA. And so we do focus primarily on, you know, post-traumatic stress care and case management, uh, individual group family counseling. Um, like I said, it's all free and confidential. Um, we do also try, you know, I do a lot of outreach, go out to events, go to places where veterans are at and, um, so we try and stay up to date on uh, all of the programs and uh, services that are available for veterans to make uh, confident referrals and make sure that they're going, you know, whether it's a benefits question or a health question or whatever, um, that we're going to not just give them a referral, but give them the application, give them the uh, direct contact information to get things done. Um, yeah, that's that's a lot. That's a lot that you do. A lot of people, I guess, yeah. people don't realize what the vet centers do. Right. Uh, so, if people were interested in going to a vet center, what's the best way to find out if there is one near them? Uh, at the VA's webpage, uh, you know, you can search by your zip code for um, your local health facility, your uh, benefits regional office, vet centers, um, and so if you type in your zip code, it'll come up with um, what's the closest facility. You don't have to go to that one i mean uh you could go to any of the vet centers you prefer but if you want to get closest to your house you can uh just search by zip code on the va's webpage, and uh they'll get you they'll get you right there you said you were across yeah. 10 counties yeah we cover wow. um we cover the illinois border the michigan border and then uh, from michigan city south uh to the east and lafayette south so um in Indiana, there's vet centers in Crown Point, South Bend, um, Fort Wayne, Indianapolis, and Evansville. So there are five across the state, That's and uh, Indianapolis has a mobile vet center, uh, one yeah. of the newest ones. So he's traveling all over the place as well. Um, in the past month, we've had the privilege of being at the Vietnam Memorial Traveling Wall in Rensselaer for four days, um, the Sandbox Kokomo event that just happened in uh, Howard County uh, in Greentown, uh, the weekend of the 8th and 9th, and, um, you know, so you guys go we're going Vietnam all over. Correct. Pokemon, Sorry, the um, Pokemon Vietnam in September, War. yes. So we actually had, uh, last year, we had 19 different uh, staff there. And the cool thing about that event is uh, everybody's there and it's like they're home for the week. And so we've got counselors, it's kind of like door to door, you mm -hmm. know, from campsite to campsite somebody needs a, a you know referral a, a printout or uh, i've even been driving around and catch them just 
setting up talking with a group of uh, six couples or oh, 10 guys awesome. or what, you know, and it's a kind of an informal way to just have somebody who's trained and competent there, but it's not forced and it's not, yeah. uh, yeah. you know. That's good. Wow. Yeah. Anything yeah. coming up uh, in the next couple months as far as any vet center or any any events veteran related in the next next couple couple week couple months? Well, we're getting into stand down season, um, so between July in Lake County, um, August in Laporte County, Porter County, we've got stand downs all across Northwest Indiana. There was just one. Uh, Recently, I'm forgetting where it is at, a little bit further east, but that's kind of big coming up right now. Um, you know, stand downs are partnership with the VAs and trying to reach out to homeless veterans, um, but they are a resource event for any veteran that uh, they can go to. Um, and so we'll be at those. Um, and then there's just some local uh, events, you know. I, I travel, I've got a uh, computer, and they can log into our network securely, a printer, so um, if anybody's watching this and they need uh, somebody to come out and help yeah, with uh, getting veterans connected to, um, you know, the VA is moving forward with resources like the My Healthy Vet account that gets you access to your Veterans Health Administration. You can yeah. uh, look at your records, you can um, refill prescriptions, you can uh, check your appointment schedule, you can securely communicate with your uh, care providers all online. Wow. Uh, and that's through the Veterans Health. Then the eBenefits account gives you access to all your Veterans Benefits Administration um, accounts and, or uh, uh, programs. So you can uh, add and remove dependents. You can update your bank account. You can uh, check on the status of your claims. You know, there's stuff out there that people just might not realize. And uh, I can just show up and set up and, and get people yeah, that's it. I'm uh, sure connected there's, there's with those programs. People that have no idea. You know. oh, they don't. That's, yeah, that's great. Yeah. You can just roll right out there. You can go mobile. Yeah, requesting records, yeah. you know, uh, if you're going to be in the process of uh, filing for your benefits or getting connected with care, you need your DU-214. If you don't know where that's at, yeah. request it right online with your medical records, all your supporting documentations in one spot so you can yeah. move forward. Wow. Smoothly. That's great. Yeah. And you, uh, I hear you do dog tags too, right? You do dog tags. Uh, so, yes, sometimes we do. <laughs> sometimes, uh, do. sometimes we do. Yeah, I guess there'd be people not supposed yeah. to know there, but. Well, uh, you know, it's it's such event. a simple way to honor yeah. somebody's service. And right. uh, I can't tell you how many events I've been to where there's a, a Vietnam veteran that says the last time I saw these was, you know, in country or 50 years ago. And, and it almost wow. brings tears to your eyes to be yeah. able to say, we can fix that right now, That's you know. Fair. And You're doing uh, a great thing, Kevin. Uh, Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. Now, Thanks for a serious me. question. Uh oh. Chicago Bears this year. What do you think? We're, we're, it's the year, but we can't announce it. It's a, it's a sleeper <laughs> thing that's going to happen. And so. Uh, oh, Bears. Yeah. Okay. Bears. All right. So you're still going to root for the Bears this year? Of course. All right. Well, there yeah. you have it. It's part of living in Chicago. It's a rough, I rough road yeah. to so, home. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, Doc, Doc is a big uh, Packers fan. So yeah. I, was okay. to, I never liked it much. Yeah. I was trying to run <laughs> so there you go, Doc. You can take your Packers. Uh, yeah. But, Kevin, thanks again for stopping by. Uh, I'd like to catch up with you uh, throughout um, you know, the, uh, throughout the year, if, we, if possible, or try to follow you to sure. see any other events. Yeah. Uh, and, again, because, again, I think we see a lot of those problems where yeah. a lot of people just don't know right. what's out there. Right. And uh, you're doing a great a great service to our, our men and women out there who um, have uh, paid the ultimate price, and now they're veterans. They're trying to get back into the, the working world, and, and this will definitely help them get there. So sure. uh, appreciate you. Uh, appreciate everything that you do and for stopping by, and I'll be Thanks. catching you up later. Thanks for having yeah. me. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks there is a uh, Vet Center webpage, too, at uh, – vetcenter.va.gov uh, if you want more information about the programs and, and connecting like we were talking about before. And there's also a 24-hour uh, vet center um, call center that uh, veterans can reach out to. Uh, it, it's distinct from the crisis line, but it's another resource. that It doesn't have to be during regular business hours, 877-WAR-VETS. Uh, so uh, please reach out. All right. cool. well, thank Thanks, you. Guys. Yeah, Sounds oh, good. Slipping away again. Got more Always. people there looking. Well, how are we doing? How long do we got the room till? I have no clue. <laughs> I just got here. He just called me up and said, come down here. I'm like, okay. I'll see if I can make it. It's a Wednesday. I got nothing else to do. It's Tony. It's I mean, my old stomping grounds. 
in St. John. Actually, where are we at? Sherville? We're in Sherville. Yeah, 15, Sherville. 15. St. John, Dyer. Now they still call it Route 30, or is it Lincoln I call Highway? It, I call it Route 30. It's Route 30. Yeah. Okay. Because Lincoln Highway, I can never spell Lincoln right. I always get, I always spell, I always forget the L. You always forget the L? Lincoln. <laughs> you got to put that L in there. So I, 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 I always see do Route 30. Well, uh, but uh, let me see what else. What kind of announcements? Do we have anything coming up here other, other than the, uh, the the Warrior Roundup? Um, I don't know. But, Buy your shirts. Fourth yes. of July. Fourth of July. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's an announcement, but <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Fourth of July yeah, is coming. In case you, in case you were for it's wondering right or forgot. It's right after, after the third. Oh. What day do we celebrate Fourth of July? Fourth. Oh, okay. Right. Of July. Right. You know what sucks? It's like a Thursday this year. The Wednesday? Yep. Oh, that really sucks. It is on a Wednesday. Right in the middle of the work yeah. week. Well, now that you're in Indiana, you might as well load up on some booster dues. I'm going to load up. Yeah, I am. I'm loading up. I'm hitting the strip club. I'm getting some, uh, what do we got, some low-tech cigarettes? Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Stop. Cheap gas. You know, there's a, uh, I was driving out here. I was coming off of 30. Uh-huh. First off, I went the wrong way on 30, and I took. I went west, and I saw the sign for Fort Heights, and I didn't know I could drive that fast backwards. I threw oh, that yeah, sucker yeah, into reverse. Yeah. And then I was coming back out, and I passed on uh, 30 and Torrance, was it the sunny? I'm pointing like people know where the hell I'm at. Over by there. Over, over by there. The uh, what's that? The Sunny Vale or the Sunny Side? Uh, the Sunny Side Mobile Home Park. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I drove past. I was having flashbacks of like 1990. I'm like, I used to go in there at like two o'clock in the morning. I make some trips out there. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. I looked a little. Hey, how's it going? We're coming in. So yeah, so Five but that was it, it was. yeah. That's, <laughs> anybody home? Those were great days. Those were no, they weren't. Yeah. No, they they really weren't. <laughs> They were bad yeah, days. Wow. Well, we have another guest. Oh, Jesus. By. We're yeah, guests. We're, we're, we're guest we're inclusive bring him on here. Over. Uh, another avid hunter. This guy here was a combat medic. Um, and, um, oh, one of Doc's buddies. Yeah, another Doc. So I know this guy. How are you? How are you? Hey, hey, good to see you again. What's up, brother? How are you doing? All right. All right, let's switch here. I need the outside. Oh, you're good. Right. Oh, no, we're going to let Tony take the middle this time. Yeah, you get in the middle. You're, you're standing over here interviewing. Oh, right. Because I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to conserve my uh, cool water, uh, my drug hard noir combination. It's going to work the camera, but there's no Oh, yeah, there's no dog. So with us today is? Dave Lawhorn. Dave Lawhorn. And uh, service, non-service, what, what is your story? Um, Army Reserve, nine years, combat medic. And another combat medic. I got to tell you something. These combat medics, uh, I don't think they get enough credit, but uh, thanks for what you do and what you've done, as well as any combat medic or any medic uh, that's out there. Uh, I don't think you guys get enough credit because, uh, well, Doc, yeah, he's kind of a pain in the ass, though. But uh, for those of you guys who are, are who are Docs, thank you very much. Uh, man, I mean, there's just a, not enough thanks that I could even give you. But thank you for what you do. Thank you. Uh, so now as a, as, a, as a veteran, what are some of the challenges or what are some of the things that you do now uh, now that military life is over? Um, I have a wide variety of things. I uh, spent a lot of time in the outdoors, mm -hmm. spent a lot of time in my yard, uh, do a lot of gardening, mm -hmm. do a lot of hunting, do a lot okay. of fishing, Yeah, a lot of, a lot of outdoor activities like that. Okay. Now, uh, one of the issues that we have sometimes is veterans coming home, um, they're not exactly quite sure where to go or where to even begin. Um, and, and not to give away your age or anything, but you've seen you've seen some of these uh, younger veterans coming in and they're struggling. What is some advice that you have given or seen uh, to, to give to other veterans as they're coming back, uh, transitioning into civilian life? Um, if the outdoors is your kind of thing that you want to do, just mm -hmm. take advantage of it. Uh, a lot of people think that there's uh, hunting opportunities are not out there. There's a lot of public land. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people willing to bring you out and um, spend some time with you. Yeah. But uh, there again, you can go on some websites and you can find all the hunting, um, hunting opportunities that are out there on public lands. We have them all over, the, all over the state of Indiana, actually in Illinois too. Yeah. Excellent. When is uh, when was the last time you went out, or just in this past? But since the weather has changed, have you done any fishing lately, or? I actually have. I was just up the beginning of last month in uh, northern Wisconsin. Okay. Well, a lot of Wisconsin's pretty popular. What's what's going on in Wisconsin that we don't know about? Clean air. Clean air. Is that what it is? <laughs> well, there you go. Clean air. Go to Wisconsin for clean air. Um, but um, but yeah. Uh, so what do you do? Uh, what do you do now for a living? 
Now I work for a uh, safety company, uh, Safety Training Services. Wow, okay. So still kind of involved in that whole safety thing, that, that, you know, doing stuff for others, protecting others, taking care of others. Is that one of the reasons why you got into that field? Did the military have something to do with that, or is that something that you just like to do? I think the, I think the military had a big part of that. Mm -hmm. uh, I was attached to a Army Museum in Aurora, and uh, we were combat engineers, heavy. So there's all, you know, everything from carpenters, electricians, plumbers, to road graders, heavy equipment surveyors, yeah. engineers. Uh, so safety was always a uh, priority there, too. And it seems like, and then I got into the construction uh, industry. I uh, worked as uh, 20 years almost as a uh, union iron worker. Oh, man. Yeah, uh, you've been there. I had a little bit of an injury, and now I've uh, gotten into safety, and it's uh, it seemed to kind of circle back Very on nice. me. Very nice. Any big plans for the summer? We're gonna we're gonna prepare for hunting season. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do some fishing. Right. On. So in case you guys haven't noticed yet, this is one of my hunting buddies, uh, <laughs> along with uh, Hank Solo over there. We uh, we do a lot of outdoorsy stuff. Uh, and if you guys haven't uh, checked out some of our videos yet, uh, some of my videos, intrusive thought videos, we um, actually captured some some fishing uh, excursions. And now this coming up hunting season, we're probably gonna have them to do a lot more uh, how tos. Uh, how to how to shoot a bow, how to tune it. Uh, I'm gonna have different things for our hunters out there or our beginning hunters uh, that would like to get involved with some more outdoorsy stuff. And the reason why I bring this up is sometimes uh, veterans have a tendency of being stagnant and they start that downtime uh, gets, gets to get them thinking, and that causes problems in social life and pretty much in, in every aspect of your life. And by introducing new things like you know doing stuff outdoors, it it could, doesn't even have to be hunting. It just be going for a hike and you know right. trying to capture exactly. things. You know, exactly. like I've always told a lot of people that there's uh, hunting is not just about the kill. The kill, no, right. no. There's uh, a lot of great experiences. I've uh, taken kids out. Taking kids out. Uh, yeah, hunting. Well, hunting. Okay, I just wanted to, yeah, right. wanted to, wanted yeah. to clarify. He doesn't take, kill kids. I've taken. Right? I've taken. Uh, he takes kids out. Yeah. Okay. Taking kids out hunting and uh, told them, you know, we're we're out, we're out, and uh, that's like the woods come alive and the sun rises and it's yeah, uh, good for spirit. That is, yeah, and I've noticed it. For those who uh, for those of you who haven't checked that out yet, let's take a look. Give it a shot. Go out to nature. There's uh, here in the Midwest. There's so many places you can go to. Uh, most of the places are free. Um, so yeah, definitely give it a shot. Yeah. Okay, good. So any Thank words you. of any words of wisdom before you uh, before uh -oh. you. Uh -oh. My, don't, uh, don't, lean the, uh, <laughs> don't, don't lean on the banner. There you the go. Right. See, adapt and improvise. That's what it's all about, folks. Right, right. All right. Dave, thank you so thank much. You. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah. We're going to scooch down over. So, yeah, we have uh, yeah, we have some time left. So, um, go yeah. Meteors. Go, go Meteors. That's, oh, that's right. He was a TF North alum. Yes, right. he was. Yeah, so look at that. Uh, hold that thought. Are we, right this guy got to come up with more bullshit. More again. bullshit. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a, a, this this is guess. what you have before. This is that's where you came all this that's way. That's what I came all the way for. Come up with some BS. God. I know. He's, uh, he's See, go this is why I don't leave my house. Friends. This is why we do Wednesdays. Wait, what? This is that's what I was thinking when I was yeah. I'm parking, and I'm like, oh shit, I got to actually like talk to Tony in person. I'm See, not, not sitting behind my desk with my. Stupid DVDs he, behind me. He is pretty, like, oh. ugly in person. Well, yeah, I think he's kind of a handsome man. Well, you can tell he shaves his arm in person. I was, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I was a little concerned about that when he did his, uh, his Mr. October thing yeah, on Facebook. Well, that yeah. was a bit odd. He's, this is a guy that I'm getting off Facebook. I'm getting off Facebook. Then he's like, oh, check me out. I'm a model. Look at my pictures. Look at my videos. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you're, yeah, you're, you're all the way off Facebook, aren't you? So no, this is this is good. I mean, this is a good thing to get the get the couple different groups out here. Oh yeah, the different guys out here, different thoughts, different ideas, more stuff than uh, you know, me and Doc arguing about like making dick and fart jokes. So nothing wrong. I guess with it's a good. Jokes. Well, no, there's nothing wrong with dick and fart jokes, but no. it's also good to 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 get out in the real world and uh, see things and try to you know make a difference for the people that are out there. The, well, yeah. You know, at least on the at least on the replays, we get some watches. Yeah, yeah. Spaniard, right. you put a you put a fine uh, production here together. Well, I gotta say, just, this is just the beginning. Even right. with, are we doing a dog parade? We are going to do a demonstration before oh. we sign off. I want to see a dog parade. We are going to <laughs> turn this around. Uh -huh. You guys can give play by play commentary oh, okay. as I turn this awesome. around. Tony is now moving the camera. <laughs> there you go.
Tony's now setting up the Tony's camera. Tony's camera is too hot. Oh, Tony's camera is shaky. Oh, up, 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 up. Oh, All right, that's mind. terrible. Up, up, that's, that's, there, there's that's, the wall. You're looking at the lights here. Up, okay, up, there you go. Okay, up. All right, oh, you hang on. are center. Oh, now, up, up. now you got the screen. You don't need Okay, now you have the dogs. So if we were at a dog class, and by the way, we're dog training clubs had some best. The Dunes Dog cameras, Class woman and we have two is explaining things. With, us, with our veterans today. And every Thursday evening, they come the over to Ebron's Dunes Dog Training Labrador Club. Labrador does they not seem excited to be here. So at this point, an instructor may say, Oh, now he's sitting. They're sitting. Let's and the black one wants to sniff the husky's buttocks. And the idea is and that a service dog or any dog doing the training would end tongue. up staying. Oh, oh, but fail. you know what? Sometimes uh, things uh, go wrong. Oh dear. That's what dog training is all about. There you go. Mm -hmm. So we've got Baltoon and we've got Hunter. We have Greg. We have Jason. And they're leaving their dogs. Oh, those and are the guys. The I thought those, those were two dogs. more dogs would then stay on their own while their owners are away, and then they would call their dogs. So I had to that call black dog dogs. is lazy. Oh, see? Oh, there he goes. Okay, now he's happy. Very sad. Now he's got his leash caught around his feet. Oh, a terrible time. Very good. Oh, very good. Golf clap. And Golf the clap. idea yes. is we work with treats, and we work with praise. Funny thing is, that's the same thing I work with at my job. I do too. You give up treats and praise. Dogs are laying. Husky needs a little work. There he goes. Good thing to know. Add rocks so, at the door. So my service hamster is not a service snake. Dog. Yeah. We could. What? That's something else. What the? What kind oh, of show no, is it? Oh, that's terrible. different. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but at this point, I could. Guys around the case. And just make a circle around this area here. Uh oh. Go ahead. And we would work through these exercises with our dogs and our veterans. Walking calmly next to it. You notice they're not Very pulling. Nice. They're well, not leading the way, but they're walking. My dog needs to learn this. Their person. Awesome dog parade. It was. There's the dog parade. Oh, down the other way. Oh, oh very nice. We'll have some and stop. walking music on the. <laughs> you love that music on the enhanced version. Oh, there's a husky coming back again. That's just a brief idea. Back it Gentlemen, up. do you have any other things you'd like to show? Actually, the dogs are never too old to teach them a new trick. What? Because both of them have their ways of just showing approval. Now, one of the things I don't want to do if I'm out in public and I see someone with their dog is I don't want to approach them because these are working dogs. They need to be working. They don't need me coming up, distracting them, trying to pet them, giving them kisses, okay? One, if, even if I knew them and came up to them in public, it sets a bad example for them. I bet both of these gentlemen can tell you that they've had a lot of interesting experiences in public. <laughs> With people saying, oh, what a cute puppy, I want to pet your dog. You think it would be the kids that are the problems? No. The it's the women, ain't it? No, it's the older guys. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I thought for sure it was I was women. way off. Older okay. guys. Okay. I've had most problems with Hmm. You know, I have the same problem, but it has nothing to do with the dog. <laughs> so this is just a brief demonstration that we work with these dogs on a regular basis. It's also a camaraderie of all the veterans who come together on Thursday evenings. All veterans are welcome if you have a diagnosis of PTSD or TBI. And come check out our classes. See if this is right for you. We can guide you into where you can find a dog. 
that you can make your own service dog. And we offer all expenses paid for this. So all of our veterans incur none of the costs of training these dogs. Um, and we just love them to death. You can't thank be paid with a stick. So much for oh, thank you for coming. No, no, thanks for coming. Thank, thank you for the demonstration. Yes. Excellent job. Thank you so much. And that brings us to the conclusion of our live broadcast. But before we head out, let me set this up here real quick. Go ahead. Like, I got to go. Thoughts here. Get a picture of my brother over there. Where's your brother? Guy in a funny shirt. Oh, that's your brother. Yeah, that's my brother. Where is he? Wave. Uh, oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, no, two guys are raving. <laughs> so that's the one from Texas? That's the one from Texas. All right. Uh, I guess not anymore. No, he's here. That's oh, a so terrible cool. shot. Now you got my gut. Look at that. There you go. See, we're supposed to have interns for this crap. Yeah. yeah. But he's in the cab. Oh, wait, he's not an intern. No, he's from Genovia. <laughs> I keep forgetting Genovia. There you go. Well, easy. Go. Easy right, now. Easy. Get in there, easy. Chief. We're going to get in here. <laughs> okay. Well, this was our first live broadcast on location. Uh, we want to thank you guys for chiming in. We didn't get a chance to respond because we were a little bit tied up. So we will go take a look at the comments later. Uh, but on behalf of Black Sheep Bravo, I wanted to thank all of our visitors that came out, our special guests, yes. uh, pets and vets were thank here. You. Uh, and again, a quick announcement, don't forget, uh, we're going to mention this on Friday, but save the date for July 21st. It's a Saturday for the fourth annual uh, Warrior Roundup. This helps local veterans. So uh, come on out, show your support. Uh, these are five non-for-profit veteran organizations that are putting this thing together for the benefit of helping veterans. So, Hell, you might even get on TV. That's it. So, um, <laughs> or, this. Yeah, or this. This is a start. So if you want us to come to you, to your location to do a live show, make sure you leave us a comment and uh, or give us a, uh, send us an email or however you want to do it. Reach out to us. If it's worth our while, we may want to come down and visit. So Tony I, cannot come to kids' birthday parties, I don't though, do birthdays. because he's got to be within 500 feet. Not even that. It's just my contract. I got nothing going yeah. on, so I'll come by. So there we go. Yeah. Ogre will definitely do it. Yeah. He makes some wicked balloon animals. Oh, yeah. So um, on behalf of Black Sheep Bravo, have a great night. Thanks again for Bye. watching. And Thanks for being gonna, here. We're going to take oh, a, we're slow, gonna freeze. a slow, a slow freeze. freeze.